Now to new developments in those bombshell allegations against the head of CBS. New questions are being raised about a possible connection between the sexual misconduct allegations against Les Moonves and a corporate legal battle. ABC's Eva Pilgrim joins us with the latest. Eva, good morning. Good morning. The CBS CEO facing sexual misconduct allegations. Six women have come forward, but now some of his female co-workers and other actresses and hosts are coming to his defense as the network is facing some tough questions. Les Moonves, the head of CBS, under investigation for sexual misconduct. This morning, the company he's run for two decades accused of turning a blind eye to a culture of harassment. The New Yorker releasing an expose by Ronan Farrow featuring allegations from six women against the CBS chairman that range from inappropriate kissing to sexual assault. These are all stories in which women said one after another that they were terrified and intimidated. I am Lawrence, I'm in, the island. It's nice. in the article, the Emmy nominated actress and writer Ileana Douglas, known for her roles in Goodfellas and Six Feet Under, describes what she calls a sexual assault that occurred during a meeting with Moonves for a show she was cast in. She claims he held her down and began violently kissing her and even pulled up her skirt. Moonves admits trying to kiss Douglas but denies sexually assaulting her. But the article went further, detailing a pattern of harassment at CBS News. One former employee claiming, I had several producers and editors over the age of 60 who would greet me by kissing me on the mouth. We did hear from dozens and dozens of current and former employees that they had seen a culture of harassment and retaliation. As CBS begins its investigation, Moonves responding to the allegations saying, I always understood and respected and abandoned abided by the principle that no means no, and I have never misused my position to harm or hinder anyone's career. Now celebrities and other CBS executives are publicly showing their support. Wonder Woman Linda Carter tweeting, Les Moonves is a close friend. I have known him for 40 years. He is a kind, decent, and honorable man. I believe him, and I believe in him. Sharon Osbourne, who co-hosts the talk with Moonves's wife, on-air personality Julie Chen, also tweeting, Interesting timing. Seems like an attempt to discredit Leslie before a major court case. I hope people don't rush to judgment and let CBS conduct their investigation. CBS is in the middle of a heated merger battle with Viacom that has ended up in court. Some are alleging these claims may stem from that corporate dispute. One unnamed CBS exec calling it corporate hardball. A representative for the head of Viacom responding saying that any claim she is behind the allegations is false and self-serving. Now, Eliana Douglas releasing a statement saying real change will occur when victims of sexual assault are not stigmatized as whistleblowers or people with some kind of agenda for coming forward. Speaking for myself, real change will occur when I can walk through the front doors of CBS and resume the creative and working relationship that was so tragically cut short in 1997. The CBS board saying they will fully investigate these claims and will promptly review the findings and take appropriate action. CBS saying they don't think this article portrays accurately portrays the culture of their company. This is a really important story. We appreciate your coverage, Eva. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.